Hello, welcome to my uh, single player world. Um, I had another world and I shot a couple of videos in it and for some reason Resonant Rise won't let me load that save game now. Evidently just standing around somehow because that's all I was doing was standing in my little man cave and the game cra- what the? Some sort of structure over there, we'll have to check it out. Anyways, standing in my little man cave and uh, the game shut down and when I restarted the, the mod pack uh, I had no access to my save file so evidently my save file got corrupted somehow some way I'm sure where there's a will there's a way I could probably go in and move my player using MC edit but that causes a whole bunch of other problems so I'm not even gonna try I'll just start a new world I was only into that one about 25 minutes I really liked it it had an awesome spawn point this is a new world um, that's the seed and when I entered my seed from my last world it didn't match up so pff, don't ask me why it should have but it didn't uh, biomes plenty who knows what well anyways I'm on the resident rise mod pack I'm using most of their mods I've got a few turned off like uh, blood magic um, totemic random items uh, hardcore Ender, of course Tabby Chat, and one or two other non-essential mods. Uh, Witchery, I turn that off. Um, it, I don't use Witchery, I don't use Blood Magic, and they seem to, they're good mods, but they have conflicts with mods I do use. Now I have added um, Rogue Dungeons, which is, I think, that structure right over there. And I've also added um, um, grave, Gravestones. Uh, now, gravestones might have been the reason why the game crashed. Um, I did a... I'll go ahead and upload the video for what I did, but... Anyways, what I did is I died on camera to see if it would give me a tombstone or not. Because normally, if you die in Resident Rise, um, open blocks will give you a nice little death tombstone. And I wanted to see if gravestones would override that, even though I have it disabled. And what I found is it didn't give me a tombstone. And I think, uh, for whatever reason, that may have corrupted the game. Then again, who knows, maybe some creeper got into my house and blew me up while I was off looking at a video and had the screen luminized. Who knows? Anyways, so I went ahead and started a new world. Uh, again, I showed you the seed. And I started with the standard four books. The world domination with open blocks. What's new in the open blocks materials and you and basic materials and processing for mirror culture uh, of course since uh, I went ahead and turned off blood magic I've lost about uh, 13 or so pages of of things but pretty much everything appears to still be present you can pause the video if you want to look at anything specific but um, the Resonant Rise pack has over 200 mods. Um, I've disabled about five of them that I don't use. And I've included uh, three extra mods. Because, of course, I'm using the Flans mod, which adds guns to it. I tried to include ICBM, but Calcavia has been updating his mods at a breakneck pace. And uh, the Calcavia core has to be matching the ICBM and mod exactly. and there's so many different variations and stuff. Um, anyways, when I include ICBM into the latest Resonant Rise pack, it crashes. So, evidently, Resonant Rise is staying with a stable version of Calcavia's core, waiting for the next stable version to come along before the updating. So, But, uh, yeah, it kept crashing. I couldn't figure out what it was, and then it dawned on me it was ICBM. So, I pulled it out. Now, I couldn't go back to an older version of Resonant Rise and use it, which I might actually do because uh, this latest update doesn't really seem to do much. It fixed a couple of things and a couple of mods that I don't use. Um, so what I'll do is I'll try out uh, this for a bit and if I like it I'll stay with it. If not I'll cut it and go back to an older version of the Resonant Rise pack. Probably version 2701 instead of the current version which is 2703. Because I know everything worked in 2701, and I didn't have any issues 
where my world just, my save game just got corrupted out of the blue. Um, I've had that actually happen twice now, and it's very frustrating because when you report a bug like that, there's no specific reason for it. And the guys that work on the mod pack will always tell you, well, it's one of the extra mods you added. Well, it was happening before I added my extra mods. So, there's something not not kosher with one of the mod packs. Um, it could be any number of them, you know. You know, you do an update, you fix something, something else breaks. So, but as I scroll through here, you can pretty much see all the extra things that are added to the uh, to the game. I'm going back, I've already repeated myself, so. Anyways, let's go see what's in my box. We'll see together. I haven't even stepped off the spawn point, which I literally spawned right here. And I started the recording. So, let's jump down here and check out what's in the box. Well, we suck. We got one pick and two force mints and a couple of oak. Yay. Joyous. That's exciting. I'm going to put these books in here just to keep them safe. And we'll walk over here. And what I want to do is I want to get killed right off the bat by whatever first baddie we run into. And see if that corrupts the game or not. But um, at any expense, uh, I don't want to risk it. These are MFFR uh, Mine Factory Reloaded uh, Rubber Trees. This is definitely one of those new um, dungeons added by uh, um, one of the dungeon bots. So it's uh, probably, it might actually change the the nature of the, yeah it does. I'm, I. I think I might go ahead and restart this because, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, um, wow, uh, this is a great mod pack. I even got an ender chest. Um, yeah, it'd be great for single player, but for what we're going to be doing, I don't think I'm going to use it. Um, these first couple of videos are going to be interesting videos because it'll just be me sorting stuff out. Um, this is dark and spooky. You know what? Screw it. Let's see. Uh, we can't pretty much do anything because there's metal in the way. Let's go down here and see what's in that chest. If I can break through this here real quick, um, I'll keep punching it for posterity's sake. Screw it. We'll go with the stone. Stone always breaks faster when you punch it. Now, right. Yeah. Of course, I gotta break four stone to one or two iron. <sighs> yeah, I'm uploading a mine track um, video. It's only a 20 minute video, and it was only like, it was like two gigs of information. And it's taking literally 420 minutes to upload it. And that's with pretty decent, you know, 0.7 is awesome or um, upload speeds. So it's kind of cool for here. What's in here? More. Ooh, what was that? Potion of healing. I'll steal that. Never know when you might need a good potion. Ooh, ah, baby, I want your war. All right. Salmon reeks of trap. Big cross. I don't know about you, but salmon here makes me think this might possibly be a trap. Mmm, bowl, record, spider eyes. <gasps> Spawner! <laughs> I know it. It was a spider. Yeah, I drink my health potion. You can't get me now. Whoa. They're fighting each other. Check that out. That is so funny. Oops. I learned to disable that with this keyboard. I'm using an old Lycos, uh, or a Razer Lycos keyboard right now. Uh, I got my new Corsair in. Uh, it's really nice. It's a K95. I just haven't um, pulled it out of the box yet. And I also got my new um, EVGA uh, 660 card. Stay out of his eyesight here. And I gotta tell you, uh, so far so good. I'm really like, ah, oh, he saw me. Ow. Give me that sword. Screw it. We're gonna go kill someone. Oh, we're gonna die. Don't kill me. Oh, we died. All right, moment of truth. Will the game corrupt? Well, let's go ahead and do this. Open the LAN. Cheats on. 
everybody turns this on. I don't care who they are. Even the most hardcore Let's Players, I always play legit, turn that on. I've seen, I've seen all the video. I know for a fact they cheat. It's not cheating per se. It's just being smart. Okay. We don't want anything getting up here with us. Because we're going to hide. They're going to punch a tree. Hey, there it is. You got it. Okay, I punched a tree. Everybody happy now? There, I punched the tree. All right. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save, see if this crashes us out. Uh, there's my lady staff right there. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the that dungeon mod, although I really like it. Um, I believe it's Rogue Dungeons. Um, it's a really nice mod to add to um, to your to your single player worlds if you're playing modded Minecraft. Uh, that was the first time I've ever actually seen one of their dungeons, and I gotta say that looks pretty cool. Um, if I was playing a single player world um, that I was gonna do a let's play on, specifically like what we're doing, excuse me, like we're gonna do doing here, where I'm gonna import a starship. This landscape is not good for that. I'd have to move on and look for something better. Um, nice big uh, Thomcraft tree over there. Um, that's like a great great oak tree or whatever. I really like that last spawn point I had in that other, in that other game and that other uh, map. That just irks me that it... Right after I knocked on wood, too. Darn thing crashed. Ugh. Sigh. You know, well, you know what we could do. Screw it. I'm kind of curious. I'm going to change our game mode. I'm going to... Game mode 1. I'm going to go back and see if it actually dropped the... Because uh, I did have a couple of things on me. Let's go back and see if it actually drops... Dropped a gravestone or not. Because I might actually have to turn off the grave uh, gravestone mod as well. And I was really looking forward to playing with that. That had been the first time I ever played with that mod as well. And um, I saw it on the uh, Minecraft... Uh, um, Let's plays. Uh, I think Doc M and uh, Andrew Zell were uh, playing around with it, and uh, they found this huge cemetery, and they went down inside of it, and it was just a catacombs. But I have to be honest with you, this dungeon I really like. I love the way it looks. I mean, look at that. That's actually a really nice build stuff here. Anyways, they mentioned that they had this in the in the mod pack as well, so I went ahead and grabbed it, and I've been. I've been wanting to check it out, but in my last couple of games, I've had some corruption issues. Guess what? Look, Open Blocks did drop me a uh, did drop me a nice little tombstone there. Hey, hey, George. This is George the Creeper. He's the guy that killed me in the last video. He's a clone. You know, I'd love to see a Star Trek uh, resource pack where these things are like I don't know, uh, Tholians. Because yeah, we know you've seen the Tholians. You know, piss a Tholian off, they explode. Stands to reason. Skeletons could be uh, Romulans and... Hello? Jemadar? Possibly? Cardassian? No. Jemadar. Um, and zombies can be Klingons because they're big and stupid. You know, Klingons. Anyways, hey, that's a nice looking... Uh, got some nice uniform going on there, bro. Um, would you care to trade me? I I have this arrow. Would you like to trade an arrow? Do you trade? No, you don't trade. That'd be really cool to have a spell that that compels skeletons to trade with you. Walk up to them, zap them. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. I think I might also disable Ars Magica, cause I won't be using it either in this uh in this uh let's play. But I will leave Thomcraft on because Thomcraft adds so much more to the game. Um, drop bridges and all that other stuff. Elevators. So, they're just one big happy. I want to punch him. What happens? I didn't do it. He did it. I, I got something to. Seriously, I got to tell you something, bro. I, I didn't kill your brother. He killed your brother. Yeah. He killed. Yeah, him right there. You're looking right at that guy right there. He's the one who did it. Hey. I really do like that army. You you want my gravestone? Let's see what's in my oh no oh you fell in a hole poor baby you fell in a hole. What was oh it broke. There's nothing in it. Dang it! Hey you fell in a hole. But there's no hole here. It's a magic skeleton here. Let me help you, George. 
You fell in another hole, George. You're not George, are you? What is that? Quick blocks or something? That's so funny. It's like, dude, you're just falling through blocks. That has to be some sort of weird game bug. I've never seen that before. That's so weird. Hey, Skelly. Anyways, uh, kill that. I'm not going to play this. Hey, he does look like a Gemini and little purple eyes. Nobody. I don't know. What is it? Oh, Ars Magica. Yeah, I think I will turn on Ars Magica. I won't be using it for anything. And It's a creeper. Hey. You know, I, I'm sorry, but I want to see you explode. Come on. What, you're not going to blow up on me? Eh, screw you. Boring ass creeper. It's like, why are you hitting me? Why are you hitting me? <laughs> I'm just hitting you, bro. Got an arrow. What is in here? Ooh, magic pants. Uh, I don't know about you all. I don't know how dark this is down here. I don't know if you all can see it on YouTube or not. I ain't got no torches. I ain't gonna cheat any. I'm too lazy. Let there be light. Nope, gamma mod doesn't work. Son of a bitch. Been robbed. If the gamma mod don't work. Actually, I don't have it installed because I know it won't work. Hey. Furnace time. Ooh, there's a room. No. It'd be kind of cool if there's a room. Oh, no. No hidden stuff. What's in here? Ooh. No. It's down here. Kind of looks like a. Captain, I don't know what it is, but it appears to be some sort of derelict spaceship. Oh wait, no, it's a cave. Never mind. <laughs> oh, this fire caught these blocks on fire. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Now this room should be really well lit, but uh, something's not working right here, George. There it goes. What was the light? We'll talk about ooh, cake. Hey, where's my cake at? Damn it! What's in here? Who needs cake when you got bread and spider? Ooh, torches. I'll take those. Spider eyes. Yes, sir. And we're lagging. I don't know why I lag. I just lag. It's not like I got 16 gigs of RAM in this thing. You know, it's got a 2500 R um, CPU in it. Ooh, magic sword, slime ball, more gooey stuff. It shouldn't lag, but it's Minecraft, so who knows? Oh, take more torches. What's in that? Coal. What's in you? Coal. Not coal as in coal. Coal as in coal. Yeah, this is getting really, um, I'm losing frame rate horribly bad right now. Not sure what's causing it, but it might just be, you know, the nature of this mod. You know, it's weird. I was walking here, it looked like that vine moved. Bad vine. But check out this room. This is kind of a nice looking room, too. I like how they... Whoever designed this mod, did, did some, ooh, it's a mana creeper. Hey, you gonna go blue on me? Go Nova, come on. Wanna see you? They turn, like, this Nova ball blue and explode. Interesting. What's up there? Falling blue stuff. Cool. Anyways. Yeah, like I say, I was really bummed out when that world corrupted like that. It shouldn't have done that. It no reason for it to have done that. It just it did it and Well It was such a nice spawn point. Probably one of the best spawn points I've ever had in a game and <sighs> Is that a book? Hey, give me a torch back. No, this is not. Losing it really, really, truly sucked. Truly, truly sucked. Ooh, what if that's a what? Nope, that's a trap door. You don't want to fall down that. Fall down that, you die. Ooh, okay, Klingons. Tell me these guys don't look like Klingons to you. Put them on Klingon skins, they'd look just like, they'd be like Klingons. Hey, what's up? Hey, picking a fight with you. What are you thinking about that? Huh? Huh, Mr. Worf? Yeah, head of security, my ass. You couldn't fight your way out of a wet paper bag with with a pair of scissors. Yeah. Yeah. 
They ain't worth keeping around. <laughs> Hi guys. How's it going? What you doing? Gonna pee in the corner? Oh, uh, want some privacy? Probably yeah, you want some privacy. Ew, more torches. We want those. What's this? Potion of slowness. <laughs> yeah, hey, drink this. See how slow we get. And well, uh, I'm slow. Must be a retard potion. Oh, come on. No PC stuff here. I say it like it is. Is that? That's a slime. Hey. Oh, I killed Mr. Rigel. Or is it Nigel? I think I killed Nigel. Sorry, Nigel. You are a clone, aren't you? What's in here? More torches. We'll take that. If you're playing Resonant Rise or anything, you want these heart things. If you find them, those are really good finds. Keep them. Because you can combine them with other really cool things and uh, do all kinds of cool stuff. Well, they give you more. Basically, they double your life. Uh, you get ten of them, and you've effectively doubled your life, your hearts. So they're really good. Ooh, it's a bat. Look at this. Tell me that's not a cool looking room. Dang, that is. Ha! <laughs> we got a wither head and skeleton heads. Wow, this is really nice. I like this. This. Okay, I'm going to save this world. Or I'm gonna, at least right now, I'm going to go make a backup of it in case it does corrupt out. Because I really like this architecture, the way this is done. That is. That is. This right here, if it was all the way around, would make a really nice. Um, hey, Mr. Spider. The bats and you are having fun, eh? Um, dome for. Uh, like stellar cartography and stuff, and I like how they have this rounded approach here. It's kind of cool. It would work on a starship, except you keep walking into the wall. It'd be kind of a pain. Kill that. Um, actually, was there enough light in here to show you guys this? Can I kind of place a torch there? I can. Let's put another one up here. Get some nice light in here. Yeah, this is really nice. Wow, that is really nice. Like I said, whoever made this mod did a really nice job with the uh, interior design aspects of. Did he just... He did. He climbed over that block. Oh, are you hiding? Oh, did I scare you? Oh, you're so pretty in your little pants. Yeah, skilly. What do we got? Yeah. It's a little end zone. Oh, nothing to see down here, folks. Looks like just a bunch of uh, spawners. Oh, like I was saying, you know, this is a great, great map for... Oh, Ooh, safari net. These things allow you to catch, uh, catch things. Let's go. F Ooh, hey, hey, George. Or no, this isn't George. What is your name? Doesn't matter. Oh, won't well, let me capture him, bastard. Because he probably has armor on or something. <laughs> but I guess everybody gets a piece, huh? You get the head, and he gets the shoulders, and I got the boots. Where's the guy with the legs? Or the shoes, boots? Huh? Do you guys share? Huh? Are you all little commies? Ah, ooh. I'm just gonna stand here. Hey. Hey, you seen any witches lately? You don't want to talk about it, huh? No. Oh, don't, don't, don't be embarrassed. Even witches need loving. Oh, I thought you were dead. I thought Steve killed you. Eh, who cares? Ooh, more torches. I can always use the torches. What was that? I saw something else in there. Oh, potion of fire resistance. Yummy. Must be fire up here. Nope, just, just, uh, just a flying rat. A superhero chose to be a bat because it invokes fear in people. Um, I've got bats where I live, and they've never scared me. If some dude was dressed up in a bat costume and running around some rich, spoiled billionaire who's got mommy and daddy issues because they died when he was a baby, you know what? 
Dude needs professional help. They should take his billions, give it to the poor, and by poor I mean me, and uh, send his ass to that funny farm where the scarecrow lives. <laughs> Let the scarecrow fix what's wrong with him. We have ourselves a prison cell. <gasps> we had ourselves a prison cell. Hey guys, you're free. I freed you! You're free, my brothers! Let the revolution begin! Look, he's all glowy. You guys don't want to come out? Are you institutionalized? Oh, oh no, no. They're they're lovers. They're cellmates. In more ways than one. Yep. Alright, let's run down here. What we got going on? You got creep. Eh, skilly. Guys, <laughs> we know what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> These guys really like their little nooks and cranny holes, huh? It's like. This is my whole ooh ender pearls, pretty ender pearls. We'll take those. We'll play with those for a bit here. Yeah, I'm really just fried that the last uh, world corrupted. So I figure, you know, while I'm here, I might as well just walk around this one and check it out. And you guys go with me as I do it, just to see, because I won't be using this uh, mod, this mod, in the uh, next attempt of the game. Um, or at the Let's Play, let's say. And, oops, looks like an army of spiders are down there waiting to get us. See, like, again, I don't know how much light is visible. I have the uh, light settings all the way up. If I had Gamma Bright able to work in this mod pack, I'd use it to really lighten things up. But I guess that's sort of cheaty cheating. You know, we don't cheat. Oh, God forbid. Everything's got to be legit. Um... Yeah, I had some guy a while back uh, send me an email. It wasn't too nice of an email. I think I shared it with IPAN and some others, but um, I don't tend to keep emails. I usually, or private messages, I usually delete them as fast as I get them. Um, I don't like having mailboxes full of that stuff. But he was like going off on me about, you know, how my bills are not legitimate builds because I don't build them, you know, with, with uh, this would be a nice way to mark your path. Um, I don't build them, you know, block by block by gathering all the resources and stuff. And I had to laugh. I just had to laugh. I, I, I mean, seriously, dude. I mean, are you are you serious about bitching to me? You know, after all the things that um, I've helped build and build in Minecraft. I mean, all those big ass starships and stuff. You're gonna sit there and bitch at me? that um, they're not legitimate builds because we didn't build them block by block. I mean, what what crack pipe have you been sucking on? You know, or better yet, maybe you should go suck on a crack pipe because you are a crack pot. Did those guys just pop in a thin air? They did. Oh, <gasps> magic zombies. Magic zombies. You're all magic zombies. But yeah, it was... That was, that just got under my skin. I won't again because I won't pay any attention to any comments like that from anybody else. You were not there when I opened that up. No, you weren't. Is that a trap chest? No. You must have fallen down from in here. But um, yeah, it's just. So every now and then you you douchebuggery gets to you, you know. And that guy. I mean, it was a pretty long, and extremely troubling email or private message to get it was sent to me via um, Planet Minecraft so normally all the emails or PMs I get in Planet Minecraft are just people wanting to talk shop about how we do things and how how do I make these ships and stuff how do you import hulls which I really don't know that's something you have to ask Gim Heller or I panic 14 about because I don't know um, but how do you design things well, and I keep telling the same thing over and over again, the basic way to design something is to have a basic plan. Ooh, that's a dark patch. They're not supposed to spawn anymore. I wonder what he, uh, that's pretty rare, rare to get. Let's see what's in it. Um. Wow. I think that was a booby trap, folks. And I was looking at the dark patch when it went off. Check it out. Okay, and be very careful. 
Um, if you open a chest, uh, they might go boom. Wow. But, um, yeah, like I was saying before we went boom, um, use existing uh, deck plans as a guide and just they'll guide you through whatever ship you decide to build because they're all pretty much uniform you know they're all pretty much uniform um, you know deck A is always going to be a smaller deck than deck B and you know engineerings are always going to be generally the same kind of design located in the same locations on most ships uh, you know they're going to surround the warp core you know still on and so forth just use your common sense and you know a lot of times even if you have to use existing uh, deck plans from like uh, cruise ships and stuff because those are pretty good you know those cruise ships are big ships you know when they designed the Enterprise D that's I'm pretty sure Ed Whitefire probably used a little bit of uh, yeah, instone um, creative inspiration from uh, cruise ships and stuff like that uh, because the D is such a massive ship you, I mean there's no way you could fill that ship up with 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 stuff without having some you know some alternative uh, plan ideas for things because yeah I've been all over the D in in recent months and so is people like M Heller and stuff and I tell you it, it is utterly a massive massive ship kind of like these catacombs here it just seem to go on forever so anyways I'm gonna wrap this up this video is probably gonna take you know three weeks to upload so I'll probably go ahead and reset the map and try again for a let's play where we get to import a starship and small one of course not a big one and legitimately build it on uh, in Minecraft well modded Minecraft using the Resonant Rise mod pack available on the AT launcher google it anyways thanks for watching have a good day bye